boom hope everybody out there is taking care of yourself in today's beautiful reality today important topic and one that i struggled with for a very long time and i am still struggling with okay but we are opening everything to you guys because i feel that it can be valuable for some of you out there either way being honest along your journey is basically the title of this video this ties hand in hand with the video from a couple of days ago about becoming nobody but the reason why i think this video is so important is because i really relate to this and i think a lot of you out there will also relate and by becoming nobody and having the awareness that you do want to become nobody okay with that understanding you're going to start dropping the ego more and more more introspection will take place into why you are doing what you are doing the motives behind almost everything i was just in the gym just earlier like 20 minutes ago <clears throat> lifting the weights looking in the mirror okay checking the hair checking the whatever there's all these little things that um the ego is constantly well what am i gonna say when a girl approaches me at the gym what am i how am i acting what am i gonna do yeah okay all of you can relate to this because this is a mental prison that every single person on the planet is going through right now yeah this is the idea of becoming nobody but basically where i wanted to take this video is that you may think being real and authentic okay which is a very good trait along this journey okay being real and authentic to the people outside in your reality when i say that a lot of you are going to think about how am i being towards the people in my reality am i being real am i showing them my true colors and i'm am i telling them how i feel and that's what you're going to be thinking how am i acting towards other people i'm here to tell you that on my semen retention journey for the longest time first off i was being inauthentic to the people in my reality and i was being fake okay that is a very common cultural norm here in the u.s people are so inauthentic to each other i specifically remember my mom telling me that she secretly hated her own friends but she would still invite them over and th they've split apart since then whatever but at the time it's like you're a kid you're thinking why would you hang out with these people that you hate okay so i'm just throwing that out there that, that it's a common like cultural thing here in the u.s for people to bury their feelings and just put up with other people either way taking it back i was inauthentic i was i felt like fake for a very long time when you discover this spiritual journey and you come into the information of semen retention you come into this spiritual path and you have a spiritual awakening okay you're going to start presenting that ego it's almost like you have to go through that level on a spiritual awakening you have to present yourself in this I'm now this enlightened being who understands all of this. Oh, yeah, that's why that problem is occurring to you. Yeah, okay, on this full moon. It's a part of the process, okay? So, understanding all of this, basically, by freeing yourself of this, okay, and becoming nobody and accepting this, all right, you're going to start realizing that for a very long time you were very inauthentic you were very fake okay and everyone so many people are okay me included and the thing is is that as i'm coming into these new awarenesses i might not necessarily sit here and have the answers for you guys about this stuff but what i'm sharing on all these videos is purely where i'm at purely the things that are landing in my in my realm and the way that i'm thinking and the new ideas that 
are presenting themselves, okay? And these things, they come and go, and there's times where I feel very connected and very aligned, and there's times where I feel completely disconnected, okay? So where was I taking this? Because I had a very specific path in my head, and I started speaking very fast, and I kind of got off topic. Being honest with yourself. Being authentic, okay? You see, the truth is, is that me stopping and pausing and thinking of where I want to take this video is raw. It's authentic, okay? And this is something that I think is very helpful for those of you out there on your semen retention journey. Because I think that this inflated ego on semen retention is very real. The spiritual ego on this spiritual journey is very real. It is very, very real, and it may be one of the worst egos out there. This is where I wanted to take the video. Boom. Okay, guys. So, those of you out there, all right, th those were all real points, and those were little tidbits I think that I wanted to speak on, but really, this is where I wanted to take this video. Okay. An authentic, real person who shows themselves to their friends, they tell them how they feel, okay? Whatever the case is. The real authenticity, authenticity is within you, okay? On your spiritual journey. For the longest time, I was lying to myself. Not only the people around me, but I was being fake to myself. Once the spiritual awakening happens, you want to lie to yourself. Oh no, it's all sunshine and rainbows over here. Oh, let's sweep these things under the rug. Oh, these little vices, these issues that I have, well, I'm spiritual now and whatever, okay? Swipe it under the rug. Don't, don't let anyone see though. Keep it hidden, keep it hidden. Now this is suppression, this is huge suppression. And you see this at the highest, highest level when it comes to extreme spiritual leaders who are very awakened, all right? These people, completely suppressing themselves the dopamine the need to fuel that dopamine is only going to get higher and higher for you but it especially got bad for those spiritual leaders we know these stories about monks priests these people they take this sexual celibacy to an extreme level where they completely almost castrate themselves all right but instead they take it to that extreme level and you know what i'm talking about Obviously, those vices, those those things that I've hidden from people around me, whatever, it's not that ex to that extreme level. But what I'm saying is that once you are free from this, okay, moving forward, and I am not free from this, but what I am saying is intuitively, I can already feel that this is the truth. Once you are free from... <clears throat> This fakeness, okay, pushing this ego, all right, and becoming nobody and being happy with becoming nobody. That's the difference. <clears throat> By being so authentic, you automatically become extremely attractive. This is exactly where I wanted to tie this video in with. By being so authentic and so real and, and deep down, you'll never be able to do it unless you are real to yourself, Unless you are authentic to yourself. You can't hide, okay? For the longest time, I was trying to hide. Once you get to this point, you are extremely attractive to everyone around you, okay? Because you are real. There's no foo-foo. The beautiful thing about this is that you are extremely attractive to the people who are likely also real. The people who are likely also very authentic. All of the fakes. All of the frauds. All of the huge egos putting on this big show to show the world, look at me, I'm somebody, I'm this big awesome person, yeah. Okay, it automatically removes them from the picture. There's no point in talking to those people. They will feel it within you as well. There's no point. There's no point to even engage, really, okay? 
and I'm working on this too. So don't think I'm speaking from a place of deep rooted understanding here. I'm throwing this awareness out to you to realize that you have been conditioned to become somebody, to become something huge, to become, to fulfill this desire within, thinking that it's going to satisfy you and it never will, okay? So this definitely ties in with becoming nobody here. The main point of this video is the real authenticity within you, the real you, is so hard to reach, and I'm telling you that now. It is so hard to reach. But that awareness to reach to that person that we know is within you, that highest version of you, is so genuine and so real, so authentic, okay? You will become the most attractive person there is. The funny thing about that is, is that it's like this paradoxical thing. Where as soon as you care the least, and you are free from the chains the most, you become the most attractive. Oh, and then those people that care the most, those people that care so, so deeply, so, so deeply to this ego and this physical version of themselves, they, they so, so care. I have to do all of these things. I'm looking in the mirror a thousand, ten thousand times a day. I have to constantly make sure I'm looking good. I have to yada yada, whatever it is. Those are the least attractive people. It's the funniest paradox. God is funny, okay? Hope you guys, ho hope this message just finds the right ears. I'm very high energy. It's post gym right now, but peace.